Let's just move in! What else can we say about this? Michael Keaton is... I love to hate this character. <laughs> Like, is such, they're, the best, uh, they're the best villains, aren't they? The ones you love to hate. Oh, yeah. It's, he's so slimy. I, go, I like to think of this as like an alternate future where Bruce Wayne went fucking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> and he was Bruce Wayne at one point as well. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe this is a kind of sequel to Batman. It is kind of. It's yeah. like you have this <laughs> reinterpretation of Batman. <laughs> Talk him out of the grey and put him in blah, blah, black. He comes full circle. <laughs> Well, we're gonna have the guy who played Robocop in this. I'm not sure I can't remember his name. Yep. Yeah. Have is him he a big star? I, uh, I don't recognize him. Oh no, um, but I think the best performances in this film were definitely Gary Oldman and Michael Keaton. Yeah. And I would say Samuel L. Jackson, but he wasn't in it enough. Like, but well, he was playing Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> he, was got, he was playing like the Frank Miller. He was got like the Frank Miller talking head sex where it's kind of like. Commentary in the Dark Knight Returns, kind of. Uh, <laughs> I feel like his role, kind of like he's like constantly spinning things. And oh, uh, one thing very early on in the beginning is like this is the first film that has actually like made me look at like insurgents and, and sympathize with a Middle Eastern insurgent, and that was that was very surprising. It was like <laughs> it's like. It's like the guy is saying, these are the people, we're keeping them safe, and the people are clearly fucking terrified. That, that scene really worked, um, because if you look at the uh, expressions on their faces, yeah, you can tell they're in fear, but it's also, they don't like this new technology. And that's why I thought this film did well <laughs> as well. fucking yeah. shooting yes, yeah. them. <laughs> but that's why I thought it did, can in a way, it, um, was parallel to you know, our society, how technology's taken over. And you know, you, in the, there's a lot of scenes where you see um, the public against um, this new technology, and we see that a lot today um, in, in our society. So I think that was a good parallel, but it was subtle. It wasn't really in your face. Um, it was one of the many uh, themes there. For mm. the one thing I didn't really like is like I didn't really feel the connection between Alex and his family. It's like they just no, it's like, it it's seemed. Like, Kind of devoid of life. But before he turned into Robocop, I think yeah, they had five minutes of they had that really awkward sex. <laughs> Very scene. awkward sex is the most like, awkward sex scene since the room. <laughs> like, Probably not, no. It's yeah. like it's completely dead silent and I got the strong impression mm. that neither either actor was comfortable with this. No, they kept that there was poor chemistry between these two actors and um uh, but I thought you know that, that scene when you know when he was with his kid you kissing his kid and uh, Yeah Yeah, he has that uh Brief sex scene with his um his wife his wife I think they I think they're saying right that's it they, they know he's a family man okay that's it now we can uh, move on now we to the action and the uh, man versus machine thing. Ellie said like when she when they're like trying to pitch to her that they want Alex to go for this change and when she appeals to him like to come home your son misses you uh that's when that's when uh, the wife act there uh, Miss Murphy came. It actually felt convincing. It's kind of like, it's hit and miss. It's like, it wasn't all bad. There were some times when I felt it. Yes. And I think, I think that says that there's a lot of times where it's like, it's all bad. Mm. But this one, the, the were moment. I don't know about, about bringing it back to like the grounds with the original. Uh, like, in the original, he starts off and he's already like the Robocop. He's already serious and robotic it, this one it it, it, uh, it like pushes him into it it doesn't push him into it, it like eases him into it it's like he starts off not knowing he's a robot and he's still got his emotions and he's frightened and it's it's like they slowly change him and it's like oh well he's a human in a robot buddy uh, let, let's make him a bit more robotic so when his visor comes down let's have the robot take control but he still thinks he's a robot and then it moves on to like, oh, we'll make it so that he can't experience emotion, so he can handle all this thing, and it's it's it eases him into it a bit, so it's a bit more it's a bit more heartbreaking when like his family see him as a zombie. It is actually yeah, well, I, well, the version that I saw today, yeah, yeah I, I could feel that 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 was that was like, that was one of the best family scenes I thought. Yeah, you know, when they see him walk past and he doesn't even recognise him at all, oh. that was actually good emotion. 
Um, but with this whole, um, I gotta admit though, because I'm, you know, I'm sure they're trying to be loyal to the original um, Robocop film, but I'm getting sick and tired now of the whole robots feeling emotion uh, concept because it's been done to death now. <laughs> but I can see why they made they made a present in this film to, to you know, like I said, make it loyal to the original. Yeah. Like, like I said, that was the heart of the movie. That yeah, was... you can't like dismiss that. Yeah, yeah, it, it has to be the heart of the film. You're right there. Yeah, I don't think it was handled as well as Metal Gear Rising. Did. Metal Gear Rising, I felt handled the whole robot machine thing a lot, a lot better. I feel like that's an example of it done right. And but this film came close, and I could recognize, I could recognize the effort that went into it and I'm like I like that it didn't constantly remind me of the original like so like when I watched Total Recall it was like they go into a place and here's a free titted woman <laughs> and, and he goes through customs and there's a woman who looks like the two weeks head from the original film hmm. uh, and this one was like it had the theme right near the beginning and then near the end, he has Dead or Alive, you can call it with me, that was just a great from the film. And the rest of the time, it was very easy to forget that I was watching the remake of Robocop. It, it didn't feel like it was, it didn't feel like it was milking the fact that this is a Robocop remake. It was clearly using the original as a template to do its own thing, but not straying away from the message of the original. I think that they're the best remakes, aren't they? Like, yeah, try, try to keep the themes the same. But reinvent it, reboot it completely for a new audience, but still make it like the original. Anyway. I haven't really read any critical thing. I'm starting to think this might be a good Playing Devil's Advocate review when it comes out on DVD. That could be good actually, because uh, I know a lot of the reviews have been mixed for this, and I know a lot of Robo Robocop fans, Robocop fans, have not liked it. And you know, I have seen the original. I know you, you've seen the original, but you're not a huge fan, are you? you you're, it's not like one of your favourite films, is it? It is one of the ones that I enjoy. It's like, mm. <laughs> I can't count in the same league as Demolition Man. No, no it's high as Demolition Man. <laughs> it's kind of like Demolition Man Commando, those type of things. Yeah. But, I don't feel like, I, I was thinking about like, Total Recall a lot during this, where it was like, it did with that did thing, where it, like, it focused on the elements that the original didn't focus on as strongly. And as a result, it felt like it was doing its own thing rather than like we have to do this because the original did it. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's all I've got. You got anything? Uh, no, well, um, I probably have more to say about it than I saw the original, but um, no, yeah, I, was, I wasn't I was expecting much from it, but I came out and I, was, I felt like I'd been entertained as well, and um, yeah, I thought the, the only two good performances were Gary Oldman and um, Michael Keaton. And yeah, so yeah. Jackson. Antonio Jackson, yes, of course. <laughs> he was also a Samuel Jackson. Yes, Samuel L. Motherfucking Jackson. Yes. <laughs> you wouldn't want it to play anyone else. No, exactly, yeah. yeah so, the, you know, only, you know, two, three, all right, three great good performances. Um, I, the action was, even though the, the action wasn't the heart of the films, um, I could tell because the action wasn't really spectacular for me. Mm. It was just a lot of shooting, you know, bang, 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 and there was, you know, it, it, you know, it was, sometimes it was shot well, but there was nothing new to it really, but then again, like I said, it wasn't part of the heart of the film. It did try and create some interesting things, like it had, like, the odd music choices, and it also had, like, a scene which was, like, it was in the dark with flashes, but it had, like, his firm of view, and then night good. vision view that kept switching. That was that was very interesting, and then the lights come on, and then we see all the bodies. See, we we see the aftermath. That was that was a very interesting shot, and you did I get the I get the impression you didn't like the fight against the um, giant Walker robots. No, I didn't. No, I I personally thought it was fucking awesome. No, I did not for me. That wasn't um, like I said. That was one example where sometimes I couldn't see what was going on. There was too many, you know. Because yeah. I knew there was so much gun firing, and I thought sometimes the cinematography wasn't brilliant for it. But that's just my view. Like uh, I, I remember just watching that and thought, no, I, I don't know what the hell was going on here. Because yeah, but it's not like I said, not as bad as Star Trek. Robocop shooting robots. Yeah, actually, it's not, <laughs> it's not rocket science. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. 
But yeah. Bullet <laughs> 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 flies out, Robert that is. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I, uh, there's anything else to say really about it, really. But, um, yeah, there is everything we can. Yeah. So, uh, for me, uh, he gets a recommendation. It's a solid, uh, let's say like, eight stars. Eight stars. Eight out of ten. I, I'd say, um, out of five stars, I'd give it three and a half. I think three and a half. I think that's fair. Yeah, I think that's fair, yes. Okay, yeah, so... Uh, just for yourself and uh, we'll have more reviews on the way take care thank you